We're talking about an issue with a tractor trailer tonight in this edition of The Law and You. With us tonight, attorney Corey Suda, who is here for Greg and Ed Saramboli. Good to see you guys. Greg is actually out right now doing an inspection on a tractor trailer case. That's uh, a good thing to be doing yeah, because, yeah. Uh, as you always say, you kind of got to get it. out there quickly and get on top of it. Yep, we got the call yeah. yesterday. He's out there today. And we may have another viewer to help with a case like that. Pete in Dallas says, my daughter was run off the road by a tractor trailer. He left the scene, but she got his license. She is still in the hospital. What should we do first? Uh, my two cents here would say call Fellerman and Sarah Boley immediately. Thank you, Dave. <laughs> you should. Uh, so one of the things, even though, you know, they left the scene, so a couple things that you need to do immediately. Notify the police. You got the license plate. Notify the police that this was uh, you know, so essentially a hit and run, but there was, it sounds like there wasn't any contact, uh, that they ran, ran you off the road. Make sure there's a police report. Um, and then get to a lawyer immediately so that you can send out what's called a spoilation letter to lock down all the evidence that you're going to need in order to pursue this case. Really critical. Corey has written about 10 you know, complaints recently in trucking cases, so he could tell you a little bit more specifically on some, you know, some of what the causes of action are going to be, but you got to get to a lawyer quickly on this. Yeah, I mean, just because the tractor trailer did not strike the vehicle does not mean that he is not at fault. Um, you know, you have potential negligence cause of action as well as, you know, uh, you know, it, the tractor trailer driver could have been over the hours of service if he's, you know, swerving into your lane of traffic. So there's, uh, you know, negligent supervision and hiring retention cause of action as well. So you really got to get to a lawyer, call the cops and, you know, ca call your lawyer immediately and something like this happens. Clock is ticking on the on these cases. Um, you got to lock down the evidence immediately in order to make sure that you put yourself and your family in the best position to be successful. Call, email, social media, yes. easy to reach Fellerman and Saramboli. Results matter with attorneys Corey Suda and Ed Saramboli. Have a good night, guys. Thanks, Dave. You too. PAHomepage.com and the Law and You Hotline are always there for you.